here to the Miami Design District. We have the red carpet there, or one of those. What is that? Huh? I thought you were on the phone. No, I'm not on the phone. I mean, I do have to call my boy Andrew, but we gotta find him. We gotta find everybody, because we cannot find crap. Pink and blue on the interior of the RS6 is just insane. The wheels look amazing, the fitment's amazing. Like, Steve, it's the literal perfect build. Greeted here next to the 4 day Pizza, we have the SVJ right here, just open the door. And we have another SVJ in Rosso right here. I don't know the exact color, but it's uh, matte color, obviously. This spec is just absolutely gorgeous. SVJs look good in any single color. This is a Roser also. We got a 4 GT. We got so much of stuff. Aventators over there, SF90s. And that blue one, we actually saw rolling in. My brother did not believe me at all, but the music is so, so loud. This 4 GT is like in Stormtrooper spec. Uh, I kind of want to go up there to get some shots, but this thing, yes! Not going to record much because the music is just so loud, but this came in GT4 RS. It's just beautiful. Day to Monster right here. And we got this AMG GT Black Series. We have so much of stuff over there. Is that a Vector freaking W8? That SF90 is the one we saw, but I kind of want to go down here just to get away from everything. Um, it's kind of starting to rain also, but that R6 is actually open, so we can go look at that. But this thing, gosh, that doesn't look like anything I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure it's a Vector, but holy crap, it looks like a whole spaceship for the road. We have a few race cars over here, including an AMG. We have the Huracan Super Trofeo and a 488 TaylorMade right there. So we're just going to take a look at that. My mom and my cousin, Bonnie, are actually finding the parking spaces right now. But, gosh, the music's so loud. GC4 is pulling in. We got something else pulling in. It looks like an Aventator. No, that's not one. Who knows? But, oh, that's an R34. That was the same one that was revving earlier. I need to find a bathroom like crazy. Holy crap, bro. Yo! <laughs> it's an Aventador, boys. It's an Aventador. We got this stunning, stunning GT3 rolling in with the five smoke HRE wheels on it, the red pinstripe on it. And we heard an Aventador somewhere over there. And I'm so excited to see it, bro. Aventador just catch my ears every freaking time. This G3 is just beautiful though. Let's take a look at this. It's kind of a once in a lifetime thing you'll ever see, but last year they had 13 Pagani Wiras in one spot. Now we have one, two, three, four, five from what I can count. Oh, they have more Wiras down there. Okay, that seems that seems fair. Also, we have a Rolls Royce Spectre, but who the frick cares when you have freaking Wiras everywhere you look from a 360 view so yeah this is a pagani huayra imola roadster the only one in the world right now here we have another huayra we have another huayra bc another huayra bc this one's actually i think this is an imola yo uh, but we have a zonda something there's like a million variants of the zonda i gotta find the bathroom though like for real oh eb110 over there the shots i'm getting right now are just absolutely terrible but right now we have a pagani huayra cota Lunga. we have a kuntash there's a new kuntash over there um we have all the bugattis over here down here uh we have all the lamborghinis down here also eb110 super sport sure on person or super sport but we do have a purse sport down there a devo and another chiron 110th anniversary i'm pretty sure it is a chiron sports so go so all right there's another chiron also over there the centenario and i think something else probably another bugatti I'm not even joking about this. this is my first time seeing a chiron super sport i've seen every other chiron except for a super sport but we're just gonna go down here um the devo that was here last year i did not actually get any single picture of it not even one i got a video but it was extremely blurry so we're gonna try to get some shots of that but it's gonna be very 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 hard but this show on the spec is just so so gorgeous and a dry carbon fiber on it the silver really pulls off on the uh purse board but the devo is just yeah i didn't get any pictures i need to get some blue seafish chen scenario right here looking just stunning oh i wish the florida sun could hit it so well but we have a Sion uh coupe right here the fkp 37 we have a few Storado um stos over here but this Sion in the uh let's just say launch spec looks just stunning according or along with all these other huracan models this this Storado looks very classy which is so weird to say about a v10 lamborghini uh for off-roading but this sto i love the spec eli said it's like a reptilian spec on this sto right here and i absolutely love it and we have this Technica. I think this is the best Huracan ever made, but I still gotta find a bathroom. Oh my, bro, I missed that. You told him when to do it when I missed it. telling y'all g80s are just something different csl grill carbon fiber carbon fiber slits on it we got the boston wheels on it just looking so clean camry revving also here at the miami design district it's just so clean everybody hated it on first but yeah i don't know how you can hate on that thing man 
720 leaving down. Oh, there's another red carpet area right here. I don't think we went over there, but there's a 488. I kind of want to go look if we can cross, but pretty sure we can. But I think it does have a body kit on it, so I do want to go look. I'm going to simp for 488, so I'm going to be honest, but Ferrari section down here. I know they have some crazy good stuff, but we'll take a look. We got the Ferrari section down here. We got a Tesla Rosa, this F40. Woo! This is on another level of perfection. Um, we have some older ones down here, a matte black LaFerrari, just looking absolutely menacing. We have a Scud right here, F430. We have an F50. I barely got to see an F50 last time, but this time we're gonna see it, don't worry. Um, Challenge Stradale over here. Also showed up a Ferrari Monza right here, SP1, so not the SP2. We have another F40 and the F50 just sitting right next to there. Over there, we have a 512TR, love those things. I think it's one of the best looking Ferraris, if not the best looking Ferrari of all time, besides the 488 and the new Daytona SP3. I think there's a Mansory 812 over there. We gotta go. I don't think there's anything cooler than a wide body event store. I'm gonna be for real. Like, yes, we have a Mansory 812 right here, but there's nothing that looks better than a wide body Lamborghini Aventador specifically because the car already looks like a freaking spaceship. And this just changes the entire look even more in a good way, obviously, but oh my gosh. All right, we found yet another red carpet. Um, Thanks to Andrew, my boy over there. Uh, you can follow his TikTok. I'm gonna put it right here. Uh, we have these, hey, oh shoot. We got tons of AMGs over here so many stuff but down there that's where the real stuff gets started just go down here make our way over here we have an xj220 pretty casually just sitting there um we have a lotus amir i don't see these things often at all because nobody buys them really uh what's up andrew back in the videos up, <laughs> all right uh yeah shout out to him follow his tiktok link in the description obviously uh we're gonna go down here because they have a ton of stuff centenario gunther works Another Gunther works. Here we have the Porsche Gambella Mirage GT. It's an aftermarket tuner for the Carrera GT. One of these got crashed back in like 2019 or something, but we have the four quad exhaust tips in the back, as you can see over here. And we come over to the front to see more of the body kit on this thing. The side skirts on here, the mirror caps, and of course that giant roof scoop, which just looks so cool on the Carrera GT. And the red headlights, which kind of look tacky in my opinion. Looks like a GTA car, but I don't know, I don't know. Here we have the stunning, stunning Ferrari 812 Superfast and Largo right here. It's just such a crazy thing, and I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. Because, like, it looks so much better than the standard 812. Well, not better, but it's crazier. That's the word I want to use about it. But I saw it last year. I didn't even get to take one shot of it, but here we have it. Then we have a Senna GTR and a 10 Scenario right next to each other. Also, we have two GT3 RSs. Don't even care about it that much. But the Centenario and the Senna GTR, two of the craziest rear ends on any single car in the entire world. And we have it right next to each other. Like, that's, that's cool. The revealing of the Huayra Imola Roadster right now. You can't see crap, but it's crazy. I love how all the phones go off. Let's give a round of applause for the 2024 Miami Design District Concourse, guys. <laughs> We finally got up here. Um, Guayra BC Tempesta Roadster in Pagani Guayra Codalung, uh, not Codalung, the um, Himalo Roadster. Can't see crap over here, but that's all we can really get. I don't even know what that is. This wing is just unreal. I love the shape that's going around it, but this, I don't even think it's crazy. Like, I really don't. Dude, the rear of this thing is just like, unlike anything else. Look at the white exhaust tips too. Like, that's just so cool. We got all the VCs over here. All the TikTokers filming. <laughs> GT3 revving the crap out of it over there. Mr. Brett David's like right there. Talking a whole bunch of people, but can't see a thing, man. Also, the weather's actually cooling down. Here we have the Pagani Wairo Kota Lunga right here. One of two in the entire world. And this has the white tail. It's just so gorgeous, man. I don't really like the design, but the overall color and build of the car specifically is absolutely beautiful. Yes, we have the same lines. Yes, this is basically just a long tail Huayra. We can come over here to the front, which just looks, let's just say like a fish with a gaping mouth. Yes, this is a Pagani shape, but still, does it really look good? That's up for you to decide. White on white Lamborghini Countach right here, along with another Lamborghini Countach, the brand new LPI 800-4. This one, I think I saw the exact same one last year, so I'm not gonna really look at it that much, but still 
it's just another Countach. Like, we just have another Countach here. And we also have the brand new Lotus Electra. I'm not gonna look at it or pay any attention to it because it's just an electric Lotus. Nobody gives a crap about that thing, but the paint on it, wow, that is actually pretty. But the Countach, ah! Pretty sure this is a Novatech kit for the 488. One of my dream cars. We have a GT3 RS right here. We have an SLK65 Black Series, I think. We have an SLR McLaren. We have an orange F8 Tributor. That's not something you see every single day. Here we have a Bugatti Veyron with, yes, this is a Vitesse, so it's a convertible, but I really, really like the spec. White on tin interior and the white grills back there and the polished wheels. But this cover isn't really doing anything, but here we have a 250L. I uh, don't exactly know, but I just know this is very, very, very pricey. This interior reminds me of the uh, A12 Competizione from the Hilton Head Concours. Gosh, I love the interior on this because it looks modern. Actually, it might be based on a modern car. I'm not exactly sure. Also, a 4 GT X1 right here, the convertible version. Aston Martin right there and a new 4 GT. Don't even care about that, but... This wide body um, 300 ASL is just gorgeous. Like, this is actually gorgeous. They are revving something down there, but this is a twin turbo Lamborghini Diablo. It's probably one of the Gunther works. I'm gonna be for real, like, probably is one of those. Uh, we have way more stuff. Also, this car is like $7 million, so I'm just saying. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> That's an F8, bro. That's not even a 488. I need to go. All right. Running, running, running. We're running, boys. He hit it again. Closer look at this 918 and this F1 car over here. There's also one near the F12 TDF back there. Just was too tired to even go over there. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it.